Hi, my name's Caroline Coates. I'm artist and craft user based in Manchester and today I'm going to show you how to make one of these little sock pigs. So for a sock pig what you need is socks. Odd socks are brilliant for this because you only need one sock or a bit of two socks. Stuffing, I'm using toy stuffing but Stuffing out of an old pillow or cushion is great as well. Cotton for sewing, embroidery thread for eyes, couple of buttons for a snout and of course needles and scissors. So to get started we're going to cut our socks up. So we're going to have a spotty, so uh, spotty sock pig, so we want to start with the other sock. So I'm going to cut it just underneath the heel. So this colour here will be the pig's snout. Then I'm going to cut the outer colour, the bit that's going to be here just above the heel. Okay. Your two main bits and then you need to choose a heel for the ears because ears are made out of sock heels. So I'm going to go for the pink. So I'm just going to cut out that pink patch. And then I'm going to discard these bits of sock. So because our pig's going to have two ears, I'm just going to cut that in half along that crease. And those are the pieces we need. So this piece from the inside the snout cover, this will be the colour that you see in the main. And these pieces are going to form our pig's ears. So we're going to start with this piece and we're going to stuff it. So to stuff it, you want to stuff it quite densely. Stuffing after a while kind of gets compacted down. So you want to slightly overstuff it, not that it's coming out the seams, but let's have a nice fat piggy. So in fact, I think I'm going to grab a bit more. Make sure you leave a small handful for later. So nice fat piggy. So adult socks make big fat adult pigs and baby socks make little piglets. This is definitely a big fat pig that we're making today. So once you're happy with the shape, you might want to kind of beat it up it, move it around just to create a nice regular shape. So once you're happy with that, grab yourself a needle and some cotton. So little tip, when you're picking cotton, a length of cotton, have it so it's no longer than from your heart to your hand because that's how long you can stretch any longer than that and that's where you end up in difficulties and getting all tangled. I'm using mine double thickness because I just find it's less likely to break and a nice fat knot in the end. So we're going to start by sewing up this pig's bottom. I'm folding the raw edges in and what I'm going to do is crisscross, let's sew a star to create a neat little bottom. I mean we don't have to worry about being too neat at this stage because this bit's all going to be covered up so it doesn't really matter what it looks like as long as the stuffing doesn't fall out. Here we are, that'll do. Okay, and we'll just tie off that thread. So a couple of little stitches on top of each other. 
and then through a loop. That'll just create a little knot that'll be good enough to hold it and snip off any extra. Okay, so now we're going to make our pig spotty. So we do that by pulling this second layer over. And you just decide kind of how big you want that snout area to be. Yeah. Okay, and then we're going to sew this up again. So same as we did before, folding those areas in. Because this is going to be the outside, you might want to spend a little bit more time just to make it a wee bit neater. So a couple of stitches just to get going and then we're going to fold those bits in just making sure we've enclosed all those raw edges. So a couple of stitches across this other way. And basically you keep crisscrossing till you've got a nice neat little bottom for your piggy. My pigs don't normally have tails but if you wanted to a little pipe cleaner kind of inserted and twisted around at this point makes it a very nice little piggy tail. There we go that'll do. So your bottom is all sewn up. Just finish that thread. Okay. Now a little trick here is I could snip that off there but you'd get a little bit of thread at the end. So after you knot, if you take it kind of through into the pig, out any random way and pull that really tight, when you snip it, that thread will just disappear inside. Okay, so now we're going to add our little trotters. So as you can see on this one I made earlier, four little trotters just stops the pig falling over. So to do that we get the little bit of stuffing that we left behind and we're going to roll four little balls And we're going to slide these between the two layers of sock. That's why I love making sock picks out of stripy or spotty socks because it just the pattern just gives you a little bit of a guide into kind of spacing things out and making sure they're even. Not that it matters, a little bit of it. Imperfection adds to the piggy's character. So once you've got those four in, we want to sew them in place. So grabbing another piece of cotton, nice and long again, big fat knot, we're going to start sewing. Now to hide that knot, we go in under the top layer. This just makes sure that the knot is hidden under there so we don't see it. And I'm going to come out just to the side of one of those trotters. So to highlight the trotter's shape, and sew them in place I'm crisscrossing underneath where I put that little stuffing ball so four or five kind of crisscrossed underneath seems to do the job and then move on to the next one. Make sure when you're moving on, you're going through 
the pig and not over the top. So that thread is hidden inside that pig's tummy. And I'm going to come out from the bottom just to get my knot there where it's a little bit messier anyway. So again, a couple of little stitches on top of each other and through the loop. And again, in to your pig, come out somewhere random and snip. There you go. So there you have the shape of your pig. So now we need to do ears and face. So to do the ears, I'm going to bring back our little pieces of heel. You want to fold these so the inside of the sock is now on the outside like that. And we're going to sew along this long edge. Now this time you do want your stitches quite little. So we can start at that point and we're going to do little loop stitches all the way along that edge. When you come to the end, just add in a little knot. You can leave the thread on, we'll use that for the next bit. And then we're going to turn them right way out. So just turn it the other way out and just manipulate that little point back into place. There we go. Missed a little bit there, but I don't think it matters. There you go. And then we're going to fold these raw edges in again and sew along that edge. I'm just using a couple of fingers to hold them in place, but you could use a sewing pin. And then just as you were doing before, little loop stitches all the way along. Okay, so now we're going to place these ears onto the pig. So what I do is usually go from about where the rib on the top of the pig finishes and I'm going to sew a few stitches like that and then bend it and sew a few of the angles. So you're sewing it in kind of a corner shape and that just creates a lovely shape to the ear. So again, Sewing cotton doubled over and put that in place and I'm going to start inside so again that knot and end of the cotton is hidden between those layers and I'm just going to do three or four stitches backwards from the front of the pig. So I reach about halfway along that edge of the ear. Then I'm going to bend the ear round. Just laying that ear flat so I can see where I'm sewing. And then when I've reached that end, I'm going to push that ear forward and add a few stitches along the back of the ear. What this does is just means that that ear stands up a little proud. Or you might want to leave it so your ears are a bit floppy, depending on your pig's character.
All right, so now we need a snout. So new thread or continue if you still got plenty. And you want to come out where you want your snout to be. Again, if you're starting a new piece of cotton, just remember the knots need to be hidden between the two layers of sock. What I do is I do a couple of stitches in each button just to get them roughly in the right place. So I'll get one on then come out where I want that other button to be. And then you can kind of go from one to the other and add a few more stitches. And basically with buttons, it's you keep on sewing till they stop wiggling around and they feel secure. And then we're gonna hide a knot under the layer again. And snip. So there you have your piggy, ears, snout, and all we need now are two little eyes there. So I'm going to use embroidery thread for this, or you could use wool, dark, even sew on little beads. So a nice big thick needle this again double it over and a big knot in the end so I'm gonna use something today called French knots so I'll do this quite slowly but you could just do a couple of stitches instead you don't need to do it like this so little knot again went between those two layers you can't see it right so French knot with my left hand, I'm going to hold this tight. I'm then going to wrap it around the needle. Now you can do this two or three times. This must stay nice and tight. I then point the needle back near, as near as possible to where I came out. And then coming back up where I want that second eye. Now the trick is this does not let go until the very last moment. I'm pulling slowly, slowly and there, now I let go. And what it does is leaves a nice knot just on the surface. So again, hold with your left hand, wrap round a couple of times, two or three times depending how big you want your knot. Point of your needle goes down. Now I'm going to come up under that layer to make sure it's hidden. You do need about three hands of this bit. And again, holding with that left hand, holding and holding until the very last moment. And again, little knot just on the surface. And then we'll just knot this any which way underneath so you can't see it. And snip. And there you have your finished sock pig.